What? Unfortunately, Google Play Store has stopped. What the fuck? So, unfortunately, Google Play Store has stopped pop-up. So, what does it mean? Where did I get it? How do I get rid of it? What to do? You know, I have my theories. I've researched Google on it. And um, let me share what uh, my, my findings have found. So, when you first Google, unfortunately, Google Play Store has stopped. These are the things that they're going to tell you to do to fix it. And I did all of these that I'm about to actually read to you. First, I went to the Google Play Store app. I cleared the cache and I deleted data. Then I rebooted. Didn't work. Then I went to the Google Play Services app. I also cleared the cache, deleted the data, then rebooted. That did not work. Then I went to the Google Framework app and I cleared the cache and deleted data. L kind of messed up the Google Play Store. I was able to get it back up. Um, by a couple of resetting of things, but that did not work. I also went into the safe mode of the menu and the pop-up did happen, so that wasn't good. I also did a factory reset, I just used this B-Link as an example, but I did a factory reset and re reinstalled all my apps, everything, and once again the pop-up came up. I also removed the Google account and re-signed in to see if that was going to remove the pop-up and it did not. So if you Google this, unfortunately Google Play Store has stopped, those are the things people are going to say you should do and of course instead of the framework, the Google framework, I wouldn't suggest uh, messing around with it too much. You could try to clear the cache, delete the data. Um, remove your account, sign in again, and if that doesn't work, then I have uh, another idea. But first, I'd like to say, why did this really happen? Well, my theory is one of the apps updated, and now Google Play Store, which is an older version, is fighting the updated app, and that's why you're getting a Play Store has stopped pop-up. Now for me I believe it was the YouTube app that actually did this and so what to do? Well what we're going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you to download the Google Play Store APK file, the newest version at the time of this video, put it in the Android TV box and start it up and see if the message goes away. All right, so let's go to the monitor. So let's fix this. Unfortunately, Google Play Store has stopped. I want to first thank my friends over at the B-Link forums. I thought I'd do this video to do a visual way of fixing this Google Play Store. So let's first see what version of the Google Play Store I have because I'm going to replace that. So right now I have the Google Play Store version 6.8.2. Now you could have something different, but where I'm going to replace that with a newer version. So first, what you have to do is you have to go into the browser which could be anything. Let me go back. This is my browser button. Whatever button you have to go into the browser. And you need to type in Google Play Store. It's really APK Mirror. I put Mirror APK at the time. And then hit the search button. And Google Play Store APK Mirror should be the very first one on your list. So pick that. All right. So Google Play Store APK is what we're looking for. So I'm scrolling down and at the time of this video 
which is in the middle of May, I'm going to pick a Google Play Store 7.8.32, dated May 16th. Now, if this video, if you see it after the middle of May, there might be a newer version. Just pick the newer version. So now this pops up. So there's a 7.8.32 and when you scroll down at the bottom you see there's a newer version available below. So here's the newer version down here. So I am going to pick that. So now you're going to get this pop-up window. And I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to wait for this download APK to turn blue. You can see this green line trying to do a full bar. There you go, now it's turned blue. So I'm going to pick download APK now. Alright, now it says open with and I'm going to just say ES downloader. I don't know if your pop-up will be different but you need to download the file and I'm just going to say just once. Alright, after the download you'll have this option to open folder or open file. Well right now I'll just go to the home page so I can show you where it's located. Now I'm using ES File Explorer. You could use some other Explorer if you want but it needs to have root access. So if you don't have root access you cannot fix this Google Play Store error. So I'm going to go into the ES File Explorer and right now I'm going to go into the download directory. So here's the file that I just downloaded. All right. So right now I'm going to go down the menu here on ES File Explorer and see where it says Root Explorer. I'm going to turn it on. All right. So now I'm going to pick this file and I'm going to say copy. Alright, so let's find the location of the Google Play Store in ES File Explorer. So it's under a device, then it's under system, then it's under PRIV app, private app I'm assuming. And then you're going to scroll down and look for the letter P as in Paul and here it is phone ski okay so there is your Google Play Store name so I'm gonna paste my download here alright so I'm going to rename the original file and I'm just gonna put old. You can put whatever you want in front of the name. Okay. Now I'm have to rename the new file the phone sky APK. So I'm going to hold it. I'm going to say rename and I'm going to say with the capital P phone sky and APK. Just to double check P-H-O-N-E-S-K-Y P-H-O-N-E-S-K-Y Okay. If you look at the original file, I picked it and hold it, I go over here to more and then I go to properties you can see the permissions are R-W-R-R -R. and if you hit the change button here you can see it's all the read and one write and nothing else. So I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to cancel this and I have to do that. I'm going to hit the back button. So I'm going to do that to, to this downloaded file. So I'm going to go to more. I'm going to go to properties. And I'm going to say here's a permissions. You can see it says RWX all the way. I'm going to go to change. 
And now you can see all these are picked. So I'm going to go uncheck all of these. And now it's the all the read and one write. And I'm going to say OK. And now you can see it says RW R minus R minus. OK. I'm going to go back to uncheck it. So now I'm going to move the old Phone Sky Google Play Store so it's not in the same directory because that's going to mess you up. So I'm just going to say cut down here and then I'm going to go into the download and I'm just going to paste it for a backup. Now this is just for a backup. You can see here's the original file and I'm going to go back to make sure it, that one Phone Sky is all by itself and there it is. Okay, so that's all you need. So now I'm going to reboot the TV box and let's see if the message pops up. All right, now it's saying Android is starting optimizing app one of one, which is a good thing. So now the Google Play Store is optimizing, and I'll let it run. And so, now the Google Play Store has been updated. And we'll let it run for a second to see if the unfortunately Google Play Store error will pop up. But I can tell you I've done this few times and I've never had the pop-up come up again. So just to show you what version of the Google Play Store now, I'm going to go into the settings. I'm going to go into more settings. I'm going to go into apps, then I'm going to go into show system, and I'm going to, oops, did I overshoot it? Yes. So there's a Google Play Store, and now it shows 7.8.32 instead of the 6 version. So now I'm on version 7, and as you can see, there's no pop-up yet. And just to show you the Google Play Store, works. So there you go guys, if you have the, unfortunately the Google Play Store has stopped working, here's a way of fixing it. So hope it works for you, hope you try it, otherwise hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you next time.